What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tiny Yet. Back with another video. I'm honestly surprised I'm still making videos now, but you know what? It's good. <laughs> but anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how I personally do my lighting. It's going to be a very, very fast video where I'm going to be explaining some stuff, some stuff I'm just going to be doing, some hoping I'm going to be talking for most of this video so you people can understand. And before this video starts, just have a basic understanding of Blender, how to add certain stuff. Basically, at least have the basics of Blender before watching this video. So make sure to like, sub, share this to your sister or brother. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So. so as you guys can see, I have my scene over here. Now, too much going on but simple enough so first thing that i want to go over is this is what pe most of people's uh lighting is going to be like like a simple area light with uh maybe a loudly but loudly uh overpowered um basic white light and a very basic and blend gfx so i'm going to be showing you how i take this to this in under 12 minutes I hope so let's go over this so first thing you want to do is delete any light source you have that that'll be the first step for you then what you want to do is go to the word icon if you're working with a dark scene this is the video for you honestly so what you want to do is go over here to surface change the color from white to black the reason you're doing this is just because you basically want to get the full advantage of lighting you can using area light, spotlight, sun, or anything you can honestly use. And another tip would be if you have any light sources like lamps, light, or street lamps, anything that can emit light, use it for your advantage because, especially for darker scenes, as it makes scenes actually look better, in my opinion. So, first thing I'm gonna do is actually, as you guys can see, I have a few lamps over here. So, what I'm gonna be doing is actually clicking each one of them and going into edit mode when i'm in edit mode what i'm gonna do gonna be doing is pressing holding shift and pressing the area where light is gonna be emitting from going into material clicking the plus icon click creating a new material clicking the sign just so this material affects this and i'm gonna be scrolling down till i see a mission now what i'm gonna be doing is bringing this up and bringing up the mission strength Maybe to about 9.6. Now I'm going to be applying this same material to the entire scene. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing that. How to do that. So I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to be clicking another lamp. Like this for example. Selecting the, the light source. Clicking the plus icon. But this time instead of creating a new material. What I'm going to be doing is. Pacing the material I, I had on this one over here just so we have control over all the lamps at the same time so material and there we go and i'm going to be clicking assign as you guys can see now it changes this light and the reason we're doing this process is just so whenever we change like the color emission for this one for example it'll change it for the other one also so this is just to save time honestly and i'm going to be doing the same thing here picking the light source adding a new material assign and that's it and i'm going to be doing this all over the all over the entire scene so i'm going to speed this part up and see you guys in a few minutes now that we got that out of the way as you guys can see our scene is starting to look quite good we're starting to see shadows for example much more details in our scene and everything is starting to like to make sense if i'll say so myself Next thing I'm going to be doing is actually changing the color of this to maybe... I'm going to be going for like a purple, purplish, themeish type color. So maybe something like, roughly like this, yeah. And another thing I'm going to be adding is an area light. But this time, this area light, what it's going to be doing, it's actually going to be on the lamps that you have on your scene. So let's say for example this, it's going to be facing the character. Just like so and i'm gonna be bringing up the power just like this and i'm basically gonna be duplicating this exact same area light 
to all the other lamps so just like this and it's all gonna be pointing at the center oh basically our main character so i'm gonna be duplicating again rotating a bit and yeah and i'm gonna be applying this to all the lamps over here so Now that we got that done, just so our scene feels a bit more alive than what we have right now, I'm gonna be adding actually a spotlight, bring it, bringing it up, and having it floating over our main character, just like this. And I'm gonna be bringing up the power, but I'm also gonna be changing the color a, just a tiny bit, not too much. Or maybe you know what? I'll switch this over to an area light just because. I'm getting better results with this than the spotlight. Maybe twist this a little bit more, and yeah. Another thing you can notice is use. Let's say, for example, you have very glowy accessories that you see you can add light onto. Go ahead and do that. So for me, for example, I have this star going around my head. So I'm gonna be creating a spotlight over here, but I'm gonna be increasing the radius, and I'm gonna be switching the color to a goldish yellowish color just like so just so we have some of the neat maybe color type thingy i don't know how to explain this but this is basically just for details honestly now go ahead and duplicate it to the other wing not other wing but like long the next thing i'm going to be doing is adding another area light but this area light now is going to be facing the front so let's see, have it rotate a bit, just so it's over here. And I'm gonna be setting the color to a purplish also type color. There you go. Now, another thing I noticed I should do is change the color of the area lights that we created before. So I'm gonna copy this area light just because I like how this looks from the side. And I'm gonna be changing it all the other lights so click a uh, area light go ahead and go to your area li uh, light settings and go ahead and go up here paste in your original one that you want to be pasted here and just like this I'll go ahead and explain this again so all I'm doing is copying this light by clicking ctrl plus C going over to a light that doesn't have that like specific um, light type and I'm going to be clicking this button, Ctrl plus V, and it should show up over here at the top. And I'm going to be doing this over the entire scene. There we go. Increase the strength a bit. And already this is starting to look much better, in my opinion at least. And I'm going to be changing this color to a whitish color. But instead of it being on front, yeah, we're making changes while making this video. So, <laughs> please don't come at me. And I'm going to be placing it above our main character. Maybe like so. Just so we have it like this. Yeah, this looks good, honestly. And another thing I'm going to be adding is a another area light. But this time, this is going to be a lot, but a lot different. Just because we're going to be using this for a white color. So add the color white and increase the strength. As you guys can see, this is reflecting over here, but me personally, I don't care just because I'm all about the results. <laughs> so if you guys wanted to make sense, you can go ahead and play with the spread and not spread, but like the location of the light so that it doesn't reflect with like any reflective sources that you have in your scene. Next thing I'm going to be doing is duplicating this to the other side. Just like so. And maybe I'll have this smart side. Just like this. Now, another thing I like to add is a volume node. So what you want to do is create a, actually a plane. Um, set this to the word origin. You can do this by clicking shift plus S and then word origin. Now I'm going to be creating a plane. Scaling this up. Just so that it can cover our scene a bit. Going to drag this down a bit. 
and you're gonna go into edit mode oops you want to go into edit mode and you want to make sure you're in faces mode so if you're like in this mode like sides switch it into faces and you want to click e on your keyboard once and you want to drag this up just so it covers your entire scene maybe like this for a few and what i'm going to be doing now is creating a new material but i'm going to be when it comes to the surface i'm going to be removing the principal bsdf so remove and i'm going to go ahead and go to the volume section pressing this and the volume scatter this will take a few seconds just because it's yeah i don't know how to explain so if you have a slow computer i recommend you actually lower your not lower but go into solid mode if you're in windowed mode just because it's going to be taking a lot of like um sources of your computer like cpu or gpu or whatever you're using and i'm going to be setting the density to 0 0.005 and maybe zero zero ten no like this yeah just like this and you can go ahead and play with this and i don't know how to pronounce this i'm so sorry <laughs> but i have it roughly maybe like this i might increase the density a bit just because this is quite too dark maybe i'll set it to zero point zero five or I'm just playing around trying to see whatever looks good. Maybe, yeah. So 0 0.03. And the color, I'm going to be bringing it down. Oops, down. Just like this, roughly. Yes, like this. And another thing. <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is a bit confusing. I'm just creating this GFX while also trying to teach you. Just so that you get the same results as I showed in the beginning. So, <clears throat> for the next step, I'm going to be going into the window properties and I'm going to be scrolling down till I see color management. Now, a lot of people don't know about this, but I actually abuse this uh, section. So what you want to go ahead and do and go, is go into view transform. And this is either going to be on filmic or standard. But for me, I always like going for raw. As you guys can see, this actually changes a lot in the scene so i'm gonna bring up the exposure and with it i'm also gonna be bringing up the gamma effect not too much just so that we have it maybe roughly like this you guys can see this is looking good i now go ahead and lower the yellow color of this maybe to roughly like this yeah why not and I'll go ahead and add a I'll go ahead and duplicate this area light that we have at the top. But I'm gonna be setting it to purple type. And yeah, like this is honestly good. And this is it to be honest. I made another video like this, um, but it was much longer and much more complicated. Here I was just trying to speed up spot and just have it where people can just look, slow the video, copy, and paste. And this is it, honestly. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be making another video where I'm going to be showing you how I edit this GFX. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, sub, share this to your grandma. And yeah. See you guys next time. Peace out.